Hey YouTube, Lake Norman is one of my favorite parts of the Charlotte region. It's so nice to have a lake right down the road that you can go hang out at any time. I can't wait to share with you in this video about three of my favorite areas of Lake Norman, all about the real estate that's happening there, and of course, what you can expect in your new lifestyle. You can check it out now. So who wants to talk about Lake Norman? Because <laughs> I can do some Lake Norman talking. Lake Norman is just north of Charlotte, like 30 minutes north of Charlotte, not even. And there's over 500 miles of shoreline because they go through, I don't know who measured this, but they like go through and count all these little fingers and coves and all this craziness, right? So that's how they came up with their number. So let's talk about three of my favorite spots in Lake Norman. I want to totally connect you. I've got my, gotta get my notes out, but I want to make sure we have good info. I can't remember all those numbers. Okay. So the first of these is the south side of Lake Norman, which is Huntersville. So as you can see here, this little strip here goes right across. This is 73. It goes right across the lake on the bottom. This is one of two ways to cross the lake unless you swim or boat or kayak or paddleboard or something like that. So down I-73, you've got all kinds of shopping over here on the end. You've got Walmart, Lowe's, Tractor Supply, sports complexes, there's there's food, there's um, Cohen Sport Country Club, and we've got Blythe Landing Park over here. We've got Urban Outfitters, We, uh, you name it, we've got it. Burkdale Village is over here in Huntersville. We've got a Whole Foods in Huntersville, which is great. This dog supply warehouse is pretty cool. You get like super cheap toys and um, dog treats and they oftentimes will do like vaccine clinics if you wanna have your pets vaccinated. I think it's a great idea. Um, and North Mecklenburg Park. So lots of stuff to do in Huntersville. It is a suburban feel. It gives you that suburban lifestyle but close to the city. Skybrook Golf Club is totally banging. Like they have got golf and tennis and swimming and you name it. It is a massive neighborhood that surrounds this golf club. So absolutely just tons of stuff to do. Now, Huntersville is mainly, when I looked up businesses in Huntersville, I was actually kind of thought it was funny. Um, they have a lot of breweries. They've got Primal Brewery and D9 Brewery, and they have 11 lakes. So if that's your thing, Huntersville might be the place for you. Like seriously, it's pretty cool. So let's shoot over here to the west side of the lake. Let's talk a little bit about Denver. We have a Denver and we're very proud of it. Denver, North Carolina um, is a small town feel with big city access. Jeff and I are currently in process of moving and Denver was one of the top two on our list of places to move to and we came very, very close and to be honest, I mean, who knows, we may buy investment property there. But okay, so Westport Golf Club is right in here. They also have Saleview, HOA and Neighborhood, which that Saleview is so active in their HOA. They have pickleball courts. And I'm telling you what, they have competitive people playing pickleball over there. So if that's your thing and you want a lot of that kind of activity, that might be a good place for you to go. Um, there are a ton of small businesses. So when you look in the Denver area, you've got Lake Norman Brewery, you've got Garage Door Systems, you've got like a small landscaping company. You, you know, you do have the big ones down here, but when you get up into you know, the main part of Denver, which is kind of up in here, you see a lot of these small businesses. So this is really cool. If you love that small business feel, supporting local, buying local, then Denver might be your town because it's, it's all gonna be that way, right? Look at all these amazing business owners. I think it's awesome. So now if you shoot up 16, and go over 150 here, so up 16 and over 150, you can go to the other part that crosses the lake. It's the only other road that crosses the lake. Um, into Mooresville. The most 
asked about town when people come to us and say we want to move to Lake Norman almost everybody says Mooresville first at least in my experience we have spent a lot of time in Mooresville we've lived in Mooresville we know Mooresville very well we do a lot of business there uh, Mooresville is has a Lake Norman Regional Medical Center here a little hospital and they have Chick-fil-A, Costco, another Costco, lots of restaurants, lots of cool places. Now you can kind of split I-77, Mooresville by I-77. So this side of the lake, the west side of the lake, is going to be your 28117 zip code. This east side is going to be 28115, and they're a totally different feel. So on the west side, you've got Lake Life, a lot of waterfront homes or water access homes um, on this area. The Trump National Golf Club is here in the Point, just a huge neighborhood on Brawley School Road. If you have not or you want more information about the Point, Jeff and I did a driving tour of the Point neighborhood and gave you a look at some of the homes that are in there and what it looks like and what you could expect. So check that out for sure on our channel. Um, so it's a really cool area, but you get that very much lake life feel, right? A lot of people are spending their weekends every weekend on their boat. They're, you know, always kind of running around to parks and stuff. And, and it's just a, a more laid back style of life. Now, the traffic on 150 in Mooresville and, and a lot of other places in Mooresville is horrendous. It's awful. It's my least favorite thing about Mooresville. So be prepared. Give yourself extra time. What I say is if you're living around the lake, if it's 10 miles, it'll take you 20 minutes minimum. So always double your time frame here. Now, if you're looking at the east side, the 28115 side of Mooresville, this is going to be the more small downtown feel um, and the more rural feel out here. You've got Lazy Five Ranch, which is a drive through zoo, which is so fun because the animals will stick their heads in your car and like lick you and stuff. Well, maybe it's not fun, but it's fun. <laughs> uh, the quarry at Kerrigan Farms is out here. You can pick strawberries. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, shoot on over there and do that because um, we also did a tour of the downtown Mooresville area and showed off a lot of the spots and interesting information about it. Um, so like you should already be subscribed and if you're not, please click that button, get your notifications so that when we put a new video out, you know what's going on down here. All right. Mooresville has one big claim to fame, and it is right about here. This is Lowe's Home Improvement Corporate Office right here in Mooresville. I think that's awesome. So very cool town, but what does the housing market look like? Like really, what does the housing market look like? Mooresville has 206 houses active and available right now meaning you could write an offer this minute. Under contract property, it currently has 214 properties under contract. 726 homes have closed in the last six months, just in Mooresville. Average price point for a home in Mooresville in the last six months is 629,000. That's on average what people are spending to live in this town. Um, I do have to apologize. I did not cover the Denver numbers with you. So I want to do that real quick. So we're going to shoot back over here to our Denver page. Denver currently has 108 active properties. So there's 108 houses you could buy. And again, please call me if you do. And 130 houses are under contract. So that's pretty good. In the last six months, 251 have closed. So what do those numbers tell me? They tell me that 251 closed. We have almost that active and under contract right now, which means we are accelerating our growth in Denver. This is a great time to buy in Denver because as that city continues to grow, 
it's going to meet your house is going to be worth more and more and more. So if you are considering investment property or you're thinking about a place to live, but you want to make sure that your real estate increases over time, maybe we should talk about what Denver looks like. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but when you look at growth like that, where in the last six months, 251 houses have closed, but right now we have almost that moving through the pipeline, that tells me that things are speeding up. So average price in Denver is 625,000. Now that number is a little bit skewed. And the reason it's skewed is there's not as many homes and there's a very big um, amount of homes that are waterfront and multi, multi million dollar homes. So there's not as many as like in Mooresville or Cornelius, but there are enough to make that number come up higher than expected. So there are some reasonably priced homes also in the Denver area. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Now, when we look at the Lake Norman picture as a whole, Huntersville and Denver have about the same activity as Mooresville does by itself. Does that mean you need to move to Mooresville? No. That means that, you know, just relatively speaking, but Mooresville is also bigger. So you have to take that into consideration too. I will say that if you are looking to buy in the area, we would love the opportunity to partner with you. Um, seriously, we love this area so much. We've been here since 2011. It's a lot of fun to live here. We can teach you all the Southern things you need to know. Um, and and we hope that you give us a call. I hope you guys got a lot of information out of that Lake Norman video. I know it's a lot of stuff coming at you, but definitely drop in the comments, what are your thoughts? I wanna hear from you. Are you moving to the Lake Norman region or do you already live here? Hey, let's get together for a cup of coffee if you do. Drop me a comment and I'll reach out to you. Can't wait to hear from you soon.